Hey everyone, it's Ahmad. In this video, I'm going to talk about my experience using the 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro. I purchased this iPad a little over a year ago as the iPad Pro I had before, which was a 2018 11 inch model, was giving me storage issues as I got the base model. This was also before I started doing content creation and having additional storage wasn't needed for me. Since I've gotten this iPad with one terabyte of storage, it has been nothing short of amazing. Everything runs so smoothly on it and I even find myself using it more than my MacBook these days, especially with all the accessories you can get for it to turn it into your main machine. I know the M2 iPad Pros came out, but they're basically the same as the M1 iPad iPad Pros. I do not see myself upgrading to another iPad unless they come out with an OLED screen or a redesign. The iPad is so far ahead of its competition though, so Apple doesn't even have to do all that. But let's see. Almost all of my work is done on the iPad. The only thing that can be done on the iPad for me right now is coding. If I wanted to, I could seriously do all my creative work on here, but I like to split the work on the iPad and my Macs. I edit photos on the iPad as well as videos for TikTok and Instagram. I sometimes even edit YouTube videos on here using an app called LumaFusion. I also do my planning and scripting for my content and all my social media accounts, which by the way, if you aren't following me, you definitely should. The links for them all will be down below. I'm also getting into graphic design and currently learning how to use Procreate in my free time. When the iPad is not being used for work, it's actually my main content consumption device. The 12.9 inch display is perfect to sit on the couch and catch up on YouTube videos and my shows. I also like to use the iPad as another display when I'm working on my desk to have a video or some music playing in the background or use it to have documentation up or a tutorial guide for when I'm coding. The iPad has been great and it would be so tough for me to do my day-to-day -day work without it. I use quite a few apps every day on the iPad. Most of the apps I use frequently are apps that sync with all my other the Apple devices so I can easily grab any device like my MacBook and continue working like I was on the iPad. My favorite app right now would have to be Notion. It's what I use to plan and script all my videos. I also love their calendar to have a schedule set so I know what videos going live each day. Notion is such a great app I suggest everyone to start using. The customization options are endless. Another app I use is Lightroom and Photoshop for photo editing. I'm learning how to use Photoshop right now and spend some time watching YouTube videos on how to get better at it. For video editing, I use two apps, LumaFusion and CapCut. LumaFusion is what I use to edit my YouTube videos and CapCut is for all my short form content on TikTok and Instagram. These are just a few of the apps I use. I'll have a more in-depth video out soon going over all my favorite iPad apps, so stay tuned for that. To get the most out of the iPad, I pair it with some accessories I use every day or switch out and use whenever I need it. Two accessories I use with the iPad all the time are the Apple Pencil and the Apple Smartfolio case. The Apple Pencil is used to jot down notes and edit my photos. Since I'm learning Procreate and Photoshop, the Apple Pencil is what I use to practice using those apps as well. The Smartfolio case is the case I use to keep the iPad protected. The iPad is in it all the time and it still keeps a clean and minimal look compared to other cases. The Smartfolio case can also prop your iPad up to a better angle when writing something down or editing a photo and I always have it in this position when working with the Apple Pencil. The next accessory I use is the stand from Charge & Pro. I like to connect the iPad in here to use as an extra monitor when I'm working on my desktop. The stand is built really well and looks great with the iPad. It's a perfect match. The final accessory I use is the Magic Keyboard for the iPad. On my scripting days or when I'm sending out emails is when I'll use this. The typing experience is great and with the backlit keys it's like you're typing on the MacBook. The trackpad isn't a MacBook size but still has the same feel and gets the job done. I use quite a few accessories with the iPad as these are just a few and I plan on having a video in the future going over all of them. The iPad Pro is certainly not a cheap device and there are definitely cheaper iPad models out there but I think that if you have the means to get one then get it. Even if you're using the iPad for entertainment purposes only and not using it for what it's designed for, why not? The iPad Pros have the largest and best screens which would make it great for consuming content at home or especially when you're on the road and traveling. For professionals and students it's a perfect device that will last you for years to come. The iPad is so far ahead of its competition, Apple doesn't and in my opinion won't be adding crazy features to it on a yearly basis. Basis. The iPad Pros from 2018 are still killing it and performing very well. The downside is that to get the most out of the iPad Pro, you do need to pair some accessories with it like the Apple Pencil and Magic Keyboard. And that really jacks up the price up high and brings up the question, is the iPad Pro even worth it with all the accessories you need where you can get the MacBook for the same price if not cheaper? The popular question now is that if the iPad Pro will replace the MacBook. I think for some people already has, for example students who need a device to note take, watch lectures, and review PowerPoint slides. Even for some professionals and content creators, the iPad is where they do all of their work. I know for me personally, I can definitely do all my content creation work on the iPad. The only reason I use Mac is for software engineering as the iPad still can't be used for development yet. I think for things like coding and intense video editing, professionals tend to use Macs as those apps are catered much better for those machines and they're also powerful enough to handle anything you throw at them. But these new iPads have the M1 and M2 chips and I definitely think they can handle the same workflow. Whenever Final Cut or Premiere Pro gets introduced on the iPads, I think more professionals will slowly transition from Mac to iPad. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. So yeah, this has been my experience using the M1 iPad Pro. I honestly don't know how I can do my work without it as I can Consider it an essential item for everything I need to do. If you're in the market for an iPad, I highly recommend the Pros. The new ones are out too with the M2 chip, so again, an iPad with better performance. I also plan on making videos going over all the accessories I use with the iPad and some apps I use as well, so be on the lookout for those. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my TikTok and Instagram for more tech and lifestyle content. That's it for me today, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one.